10 minutes of non-stop news and your precision forecast. This is live, local, late-breaking, Channel 6 News, live at 5. Local wildlife volunteers are scratching their heads wondering how several Canadian youths ended up covered in oil. Good evening, I'm Kara Robeer. Thanks for joining us. Happening locally tonight, live at 5, is a shocking discovery by wildlife lovers over the weekend. Four Canadian geese were found with oil covering their body. The birds were found on the Gene Epley Salvation Army Camp property, which is located just off of Highway 75 in Bellevue. Officials say the geese would have no chance of surviving in the wild in their condition, and they need a lot of rehabilitation. Andrea McMaster goes along with volunteers on the rescue mission. Okay. Volunteers with the Nebraska Wildlife Rehab Inc. respond to all kinds of calls to help wildlife. You got him? Yep. I think so. But this is the worst they've seen. This has been terrible. A Canada goose covered in oil. This has been submerged in oil. The beak is covered with it. It's just pathetic. I've, I've been walking, I, I tell you, I, it's just torn me up. And like I said, I've been doing this for 13 years and I just, I've never seen anything like this. Breaks your heart. Betty Tatum rescued three other geese like this one Saturday. Each one soaked in oil and very weak. He's ingested this oil, which is toxic to him as it is to us, because it's a petroleum product. Tatum says this bird hasn't had much of a chance at life probably born this spring, now already bird. disabled. That cannot fly, that if he does get in the water, he will drown because he's not waterproofed, and he'll sink in a matter of seconds, minutes probably. We she can know. only hypothesize oh, how so this happened. To, if this is done deliberately, it's certainly a felony offense, but we don't know. I mean, we have no idea how it was done. Tatum says the gosling's chance of survival oh, looks there. bleak but she'll give it her best care and hope for a miracle. Where shall we go get you in the car, sweetie? Bring you home and give you something to drink. Tatum planned to bathe the bird with detergent and then bring it to the veterinarian. As for the other birds, we're told two had to be put to sleep. The fourth one is still hanging on. Now, they found the birds, Andrea, at the camp. Is this where they got in the oil, do they think, or, or where well, did this happen? Kara, wildlife officials are confident that it happened off the campgrounds. If this wasn't a deliberate act, another hypothesis is that the birds flew into a large puddle of oil, thinking that it was a pond. And it's possible they walked to the camp from as far as four miles away. Huh, strange situation. It sure is. All right. Andrew McMaster reporting live. Well,